What is your favorite chocolate? For me, it's Fuse and also Snickers because both of them are very similar. You let me know your favorite chocolate in the comment section down below. And if it is Fuse, here is a virtual high five to you because Fuse is the best man. Also, don't forget to drink your water. Stay hydrated. Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolove. The iPhone 12 series come with new and improved cameras which can shoot videos in Dolby Vision HDR. So that is a pretty big deal. You can shoot HDR videos from a smartphone that can fit into your pockets. Now HDR video is great and looks great on an HDR compatible display. But there's always a but. There's a big problem especially for creators like you and me. We normally edit our videos in normal SDR and not HDR. That's why when you try to import an HDR clip in your normal SDR timeline, it's gonna look like this. Overexposed and completely blown out to the point where if you don't do something about it, you might not be able to use that clip. It's that overexposed. So if you have been facing a similar problem and don't know what to do, don't worry. You have clicked on the right video. Today, we are going to show you a couple of methods in which you can convert your HDR videos into SDR so that you can use them in your projects. And by we, I mean me and KD Cloudy. Hey, what's up guys? This is KD Cloudy and to understand this HDR recording thing in a nutshell, just imagine that when you're recording video with the iPhone 12, you're actually capturing a lot more excess luminance data and a lot more color data which falls outside the standard color space. So when you take a clip like that, a high dynamic range clip with all of these excess luminance data, when and you put that on a standard screen with a standard video player, that video player and that screen doesn't know how to display anything which falls outside of that standard color space. So as a result, you get this overexposed mess. For example, all the bright parts of this scene, the sky, the lamp are about around a thousand nits. When you try to watch that on a 500 nit display, it gets clipped. You just cannot see all that data. That was sort of a very oversimplified version of this. Uh, but if you want to know more about this, you can check out a video on my channel. I've made plenty. But yeah, what you need to know is that if you want to watch an HDR video, you need a player which supports HDR. Most video players and most software do support HDR, but some don't. And if you try to play that back on an unsupported player, or if you even try to convert any HDR file through a normal video converter, you'll get some pretty bad colors and this overexposed mess. So if you're working with a lot of video clips, if you want to post something somewhere and you just suddenly have no clue why this became so overexposed, well, that's what we're exactly going to help you with in this video. And I'll hand it back to Harsh and he'll teach you how to do this in iMovie. Now let's get to the first solution. It's pretty simple. It's done via iMovie on your iPhone 12. Nowadays, Apple is pre-installing iMovie in all the iPhones, so you might have iMovie already. But if you don't have iMovie, go to the App Store and download iMovie. Now once you have iMovie, open it up and create a new project. Make sure to select the Movie option. Once that is done, import the clip that you want to convert into SDR. After that, make sure that the clip is right and the length is right. Once you do that, click on the little done option on the top left corner. Then click on the little export icon. Now here's where you need to pay careful attention. Once you click that export icon, you are going to see a small blue color button called as options. Click on that button. Now here you have a bunch of options related to your export. First up, make sure that it is video and not project. Next up, make sure that you have the right resolution and the frame rate. After that, the next option is the most important that is HDR make sure that HDR is turned off. If you keep HDR on, it will again export the video in HDR and the problem will continue. Now, once you follow these steps, just click on save video and your project will be exported. Now, this exported video file will be a normal SDR file and will look amazing. So this is a very simple method which can be done right on your iPhone itself. And I guess it's a pretty neat way to do it. Now, this was the first method. For the second method, I'm going to give it over to KD Cloudy. So we are back and that was an easy way to do it through iMovie, probably the most efficient way to do it. But if you want to go a little over the edge or, you know, do it the pro way, 
you can use any professional editing softwares like uh, Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you both examples and show you how you can handle HDR footage out of the iPhone 12 and uh, convert it to SDR. So let's start with Final Cut Pro and this method only works with the latest Final Cut Pro which is 10.5 with Mac OS Big Sur. Uh, hopefully you have that and we're going to jump into Final Cut Pro. Uh, we're going to create a new project. Uh, just normal stuff. I'm just going to call it HDR to SDR. You can select any uh, format or resolution you want. So I'm going to hit OK and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop this uh, video clip I have on my desktop which is HDR. And we're going to drop it into a timeline and immediately we get a warning saying that you're adding an HDR clip to an SDR project. We know that so we're going to make it go away. And in the effects tab what you want to search for is something called HDR tools. So we're going to search for that and uh, we're going to drop it right onto our clip. And, and right off the bat, when you uh, drop that HDR tools effect, it's going to look worse. It's going to look a lot washed out. So what you're going to need to do is in the inspector tab, you need to select the drop down and change it to HLG to Rec. 709 SDR. And boom, it looks a lot better. You can apply more corrections to it. Uh, but yeah, you can export this any way you want. Uh, master file, 8 bit, anything. I it just, it's, it'll just work. Uh, I'm not gonna export it because that, that'll take a while. Not really, but yeah, we're gonna hop into Premiere and I'm gonna show it to you how to do this in Premiere real quick. So once Premiere Pro is open, you will create a new project. I'm gonna call it HDR to SDR. And you can, uh, the default settings are pretty much default, but what you need to know is that at the color management dropdown, you need to select 203, 75% HLG, 58% PQ and the rest of the things are pretty much the same. All right, so once we are in, my workspace is a little bit different because I'm weird, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna import it first, the same clip, and the best thing about Premiere is that you just drop your video into your timeline and it automatically just detects uh, the properties. So I'm just gonna create a new timeline or a sequence uh, by dropping it over here and Automatically, you can see Premiere just tone maps it. Uh, I wasn't kidding, it's as, it's pretty easy. And you can select pretty much any export settings. I usually go for H.264. If you select HEVC, it's gonna turn out a little bit more compressed. So H.264, uh, high bitrate, everything is fine. You can just select export. But yeah, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, a huge thanks to Harsh for bring me on and i was able to share all this stuff with you hopefully you learned something and if you did i hope to see you on my channel cheers so yeah that's how you convert your dolby vision hdr video clips into normal sdr so that you can use them in your projects i hope that this video was helpful in some way or the other and if it was don't forget to subscribe to my as well as kd cloudy's channel kd cloudy makes some really good videos and he's highly underrated so make sure that you go ahead and subscribe to his channel. I will drop a link to it in the description box below. Anyway, that's been it. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Harsh Punjabi and thanks to KD Cloudy and we'll see you around soon. Bye bye.